Hey guys, Martha Lynn here. I know that all of you have that one curling iron sitting in your bathroom. So go grab it, because today I'm gonna show you how to create three different looks using just one tool. Okay, so before I use any heat tool, I like to use a heat protectant. And this one will actually protect your hair up to 450 degrees. I'm just gonna put a little bit of flex throughout the hair to start creating texture. Since this first look that we're doing is to create those beachy waves, that effortless hair that everyone wants. We've sectioned Sarah's hair into a middle part and I'm just taking the hair from the ear forward. You'll wanna start in the middle and roll it all the way up. That is gonna heat up the top half of the curl and then you're gonna feed the hair through the curl as you're working your way down. That's gonna give you a more even curl and that way you don't end up with really curly ends and really flat on top. So don't stress out too much about your sectioning. I just like to take long vertical sections throughout the hair and as you work your way around the head, just make sure the curling iron curls away from the face. So about halfway through, we'll switch the pattern of the curl so that it ends away from the face on the other side as well. So next step, we're gonna just break up the curls, run your fingers through it. Really kind of the messier the better for this one. It's a little bit flat still on top. So what you can do is take a small section on the top and wrap it away from the face around the curling iron. You don't have to worry about using the clamp here. You're just trying to create a little bit of texture in the crown. Okay, so we're finished doing Sarah's beachy hair. This is probably the most requested style that I get here in the salon. And it becomes actually the foundation for our next look, which is gonna be our Glamour Waves. Next step is you need to grab a paddle brush. Really, any paddle brush will work for you. And I'm gonna take her hair and start shifting it into a deep side part. And that is what is gonna to start to create that glamorous wave. And you can't, don't be afraid to brush it because as you brush it, the curls will bounce back in. And then brushing it more to one side gives it a slightly more formal feel. Isn't that cool though? A little bit of hairspray. It's really just that easy. It's just simply smoothing out the curls, flipping the part. Okay, so this is our glamour wave, which is really great because you've already set the hair with the beachy waves and then you can easily transition it in to this very sleek, glamorous hairstyle. So it's awesome if you've got a special occasion and you want to be able to have versatility all in one day. Okay, so to get started on creating volume with a curling iron, I'm gonna just section off a small piece of hair in the front here and roll it on the curling iron like a roller. And then as it heats up, you keep feeding the end of the hair all the way through it so that you get a nice even curl. And then you just roll it back on itself. So here we're just creating a roller out of that curl that we just created and setting it with a clip. And it's really up to you how small you want these curls to be. The smaller they are, the more volume. I'm going for sort of a medium curl with medium volume. As I'm curling the hair, I'm just, I'm keeping my fingers on the curling iron. And once you can feel the heat coming through onto your fingers, then that's how you know it's been in long enough. You know, for me, I, I can see it in front of me, so it's, it's a little more organized. But for you, you know, you don't have to stress about how the curls look. Really, it's just getting them to hold in place to give those curls the opportunity to cool off. Okay, so we've set her curls and we've sprayed the whole thing with flex. Now we're just gonna give it a little bit of time to cool off and then we will show you the results. As I'm taking each curl out, I'm gonna tease it lightly at the roots just to add a little extra volume and to really set the curl. Just going for a really soft, voluminous look. Now I'm just brushing all of the ends to combine all the curls without destroying all of your teasing work that you've done. 
Okay, so there you have it. This is our last look. And all of these looks we created with a one inch curling iron. So now I challenge you to go get that curling iron out and give one of these a try.